doesn't sound right. Does not sound right. What the hell's wrong? Things are totally off. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so since this sounds like crap anyways, uh, I can't remember who requested it. Someone wants to learn uh, Tonight by my band, not by Ozzy, thank goodness. <laughs> um, and I played bass, you know, I didn't even write that song. I played bass and I rearranged it. Uh, Johnny came up, Johnny Crystal. Crypt, whatever the hell his name is, uh, came in with an idea, and it had, it was a long song, and it was all played, you know, these chords. And I said, you should actually, you know, or, really the whole song and then there's the solo which there it is it's an A um that's probably not going to be enough oh I, that's what I didn't have on let me try something something happened I I lost my settings on both amps the power went out and for some reason I can't they won't come back so whatever <laughs> same time he's going I think he just went... So you can probably tell almost all of the uh, we had like three or four different drummers in Fatal Attraction, 
And I actually dug up three other versions of Tonight as it progressed. For the first demo, horrible. Because you know the one you listen to probably has the guy talking, that which I wrote out. It was a thing that we had, uh, like a welcome to, you know, welcome to blah, blah, da, da, da. Whatever the, you know, head vampire is supposed to be saying in that part of the song tonight. That was a second guitar solo. So he had a first guitar solo and a second guitar solo. And I'm like, dude, that's stupid. And then he'd solo on the, out, on the way out. And I'm like, you should call this song guitar solo. It's too many. So we cut the one, and I had I said, you know, we should, instead of just cutting the solo, have Trey sing into an octave, you know. And that's how we got that. And then one of the drummers that was producing our, uh, or a drummer, Cliff Carruthers, he was in Malice. He produced the second demo of that song tonight. And he's the one that said, you guys need to do backups. It'll, it'll be eerie. And the way he put it in, it was, you know, that... Ooh, ah, I, I never sang that. I was only doing the gang vocals, you know, like, dead! On arrival or whatever. <laughs> Did not like singing and playing. But uh, all of those, me on bass, on everything. That's why it's so damn tight and great. And uh, guitars, barely anything except for Night Stalker. And that's got a huge rhythm sound I think but Trey was changing his voice had changed we did it like 12 years ago or something and his you know I guess his balls finally dropped and it, his voice lowered so there's two songs I only put one up it might both be up because we redid uh, I Know What I Want where I play everything but someone screwed around with the bass they thought it should be more to it anyway so tonight that's basically all this all the stuff for tonight i'm not going to be jamming and, and shredding i don't feel like it i was just worried about the setup and i now i know i have to reset everything but uh that's basically the stuff the chords you need for that song tonight if that's not enough tell me and i'll i'll do it again or i'll play along with it i really don't want to because like I said, there's two guitar tracks going, and you can hear it. Listen to it, because there's no way two, one guitar can play the chords that are being played. There's, there's the bar chords he's playing, A, F, G, A, F, G, and then da, 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 and then A, bam, bam, da, 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 da. then he's playing. So, and you can hear it. You can hear both of those parts, and I'm pretty sure he only did two. He might have done three. Uh, rhythm parts because when I just you know he did his first part when we did the recordings we do the drums and the bass and r one rhythm track it'd usually be scratch because he he's a uh, obsessive compulsive loves computers his whole sound was based on a rack I mean you could play out he could play out of a Marshall he played out of my Marshall he played out of Randall's. He played out of everything. It sounded exactly the same because that's the way he played. And most of it was all, you know, uh, effects based. That's how he got his voice, his uh, tone. So there's one we did where it was super compressed because I'm like, let's do like a, you know, Injustice for All type of uh, really compressed. And it sounds heavy, but it wasn't us. And he couldn't really get that sound on stage. We actually had to uh, really mess with it in the studio. So, and I've got a version of tonight that, and it's just really heavy. It's got no backing vocals and two guitar solos. So hopefully that's enough. I'm not. It's a lot of talking. I just uh, wanted to see if the amps were affected by the power out, and they were. So now I got to figure out what my settings were because I. I saved them, but I can't seem to pull them up. Let me see if it comes up this time. Nope. Not completely. Well, is there a delay? Yeah? I might be back, but I I'm done for today. So this goes out to... I'll put your name in there. You know, this is for... This is 
me messing around with the amps and then a very short tutorial on uh, the song tonight by my band Fatal Attraction. All right? Thanks for asking and keep rocking.